Hi, this is Debbie and today I'm going to be showing how to use your craft supplies and get creative with your holiday gift wrapping. I love gift wrapping and I think it's worth the extra time to dress a present. The look is unique and for me tells the recipient how much you care. I'm starting off today with a piece of sticky back wood veneer. I'm not sure where I got this from, but thin balsa wood, craft card stamped with a wood grain pattern, or wood effect pattern paper would work equally as well. I've adhered the veneer to a piece of white card as a base to give it some thickness and then I'm running it through my die cutting machine with a tag die from Simon Says Stamp. That's the Stitch Dress Up Tag Set. Next I'm using the Tap Dance Stencil from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to run some white embossing paste over it. I've used a piece of washi tape to keep the tag still on my work surface and then moved the stencil around so that the dots form a diagonal pattern and then kept the stencil in place with more tape. I've recently been revisiting my love of stencils with embossing paste and if there's one embossing paste I think everyone should have it's this white one from Wendy Vecchi. This little pot is where my obsession with embossing pastry stencils started. I'm using a palette knife to pick up a little of the paste and smooth it over the stencil. The paste is easy to spread and I'm moving the palette knife backwards and forwards to ensure a good smooth coverage. I say it every time but you can't beat lifting a stencil to reveal the pattern below. Each and every time it's a joy to see the result from what is really a quick and simple technique. Next I'm using a craft knife to tidy up any paste sticking around over the edges and the odd dot of paste which wasn't quite how I wanted it. While the embossing paste is still wet it's very easy to pick up and make any corrections like this. I've set the tag aside to dry while I work on more die cutting. I have some silver glitter card from Simon to Stamp and I'm going to cut the Dancing Deer die from that and then the Alicia Snowflake die I'll cut from white card. However, later on I switch out the white snowflake for one cut from ivory card. I lifted all the pieces of the deer die cut and kept them to one side. You could leave the embossing paste to fully air dry, but I'm impatient, and so I wafted warm air from the heat tool to speed up the drying process. I made sure to keep the heat tool a few inches away from the tag and kept it moving all the time so as not to scorch the paste. I do like the way that drying with a heat tool sort of puffs the embossing paste up a little and gives it more dimension. I've cut a second white tag using the Stitch Dress Up tag die and I did that to the back of the wood tag to give a good weight to the tag and a nice clean finish. I then started building the die cut scene. I wanted a snowflake behind the Dancing Deer die but the Deer die was a little too delicate and got lost in the busy background and so I mounted the outline onto white card and filled in with the negative pieces before trimming around the deer. This way I could have a nice solid embellishment that will hold its own, but still has an elegant look. Also the advantage of a die cut set onto white card like this is that I can add foam adhesive to the back and it won't be visible. This will not only add more dimension, but also gives me the perfect way to adhere the snowflake too, trapping it between pieces of foam adhesive and then mounting onto the wood veneer tag. I paired this tag with a present I'd already wrapped. I thought the wood tag with white snowflake and silver deer with red nose would accent this paper perfectly. However, this is when I noticed that the paper was more of an off-white and so I switched out the snowflake for one cut from ivory card. This is the perfect off-white and I use it often. I tied red raffia twine twice around the present and then strung the tag onto the twine and tied a bow. I like to extend the decoration out from the tag and over the whole of the present and so I die cut a couple more of the Alicia Snowflake dies from Ivory Card and then I did those on the body of the present, tucked in behind the tag and kept them in place with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. I then dotted around a few more red enamel dots and called this present done. That's one present down, lots more to go over the next few weeks. I really like this white, craft, grey and red look this time of year and I think I'll be decorating more presents in this style for under the tree. I'll leave links in the YouTube description below to the products I've used today as well as a link to the coordinating blog post over at LimeDoodleDesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and if you've enjoyed this tutorial I'd be delighted if you'd subscribe to this channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.